हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैक्नोटेक यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्लच सो लेट स्टार्ट डिटरमाइन द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सेलरेट अ काउंटर शाफ्ट ऑफ रोटेटिंग मास 500 हंड्रेड के जी सो हियर मास इज गिवन फॉर द काउंटर शाफ्ट एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी मैंशन ओवर हियर मास एम इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड के जी नाउ रेडियस ऑफ गायरेशन ऑफ दिस शाफ्ट इज अराउंड टू हंड्रेड एम एम सो हियर रेडियस ऑफ गायरेशन के इज गिवन टू हंड्रेड एम एम विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कन्वर्टेड इन मीटर सो पॉइंट टू मीटर देन टू द फुल स्पीड ऑफ टू फिफ्टी आर पी एम इट मीन्स द इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ द शाफ्ट इज जीरो ओके सो इनिशियल स्पीड फॉर द शाफ्ट इज जीरो एंड अप टू टू रीच टू फिफ्टी आर पी एम वट शुड बी द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट so we have to find out for the time required from 0 rpm to 250 rpm okay so here n is given uh, from the rest to single plate clutch uh, of internal and external radii of uh, so here internal and external radius is given so internal radius is 1 to 5 mm so 0.125 meter and external radius that is 200 mm uh, 0.2 meter and coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0.3 is given then axial spring force that means w is 600 newton is given and assume only one side clutch is effective so n is equal to 1 and we have to find the time what what is the time of this so when this shaft rotated from 0 rpm to 250 rpm and particular to reach up to 250 rpm whatever the time is required that we have to find out now we have a angular uh, acceleration uh, we have to find the angular acceleration that is called the alpha and uh, here we have a equation for angular velocity uniform angular velocity equation in which omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha into t so we can say omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60 okay so n for the final n final rpm that is 250 is given so 2 pi n upon 60 initial rpm is zero as i have told you so initial omega angular speed uh, angular velocity initial angular velocity is zero plus alpha into t so we have to find out t but before that we have to find out alpha okay so how to find out alpha so we know the torque transmitted by the clutch t is equal to i into alpha and alpha is the angular uh, acceleration okay and i is the moment of inertia so how to find i, I first so i is equal to m k square this is a common equation so m is the mass and k is the radius of gyration square so here i we have already find out here it is 20 kg into meter square so moment of inertia i in terms of kg into meter square now we have to find out t okay we have to we have already find out i and then we have to find out t so here torque transmit for the uh, shaft or we can say uh, for the uniform uh, wear okay we have seen in uniform pressure theory and we have seen also uniform wear theory so this is a equation for uniform wear theory so n into 1 by 2 mu w r o plus r i so this is outer radius and inner radius and we can find out the t so this is a torque amount of torque to be transmit so t is equal to i alpha so by this way we have find out the alpha and now this alpha put into this equation and we will get the t so here when we put the alpha in this equation we get the time is 17.19 second so it means here total time t is 17.90 second required from 0 to 250 rpm okay uh, so this is the basic uh, basic example for the clutch okay so if you like this video then press the like button share it and don't forget to subscribe thank you jai hind jai bharat